Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dermatology Explained. Today, we'll be speaking about lichen striatus. Lichen striatus is an asymptomatic, uncommon, self-limited linear dermatoses of unknown origin that generally affects children with ages between four months to 15 years. The diagnosis is usually made clinically based upon the appearance of the primary lesions and their distinctive developmental pattern. Its distribution along the lines of Blaschko plus the age of the patient, typically children, usually narrows the differential diagnosis rather quickly. What are Blaschko's lines? These are lines that are thought to represent pathways of epidermal cell migration. What are the causes associated with lichen striatus? The exact cause is unknown. It's thought that both genetic and environmental factors contribute to lichen striatus. However, the exact nature of these factors have yet to be identified. It's thought that lichen striatus may represent a manifestation of atopy, whereby the abnormal immune responses associated with atopy predisposes a person to lichen striatus, and that an infectious agent may act as the trigger. Some other predisposing factors associated with lichen striatus includes vaccination, UV and light exposure, as well as viral infections. At this stage, the exact cause of lichen striatus is yet to be discovered. In terms of the features of lichen striatus, it is typically asymptomatic, but intense itchiness and pruritus can occasionally occur. The eruption consists of a continuous or interrupted bands of discrete and clustered pink, skin-colored, or tan papules that are flat-topped, smooth, or scaly, and can range in size from two to four millimeters. Infrequently, vesicles may be present. Often, there is a single unilateral streak on an extremity along the lines of Blaschko, as you can see here in these images. Occasionally, there is a bilateral distribution pattern or multiple parallel bands. These lesions are less commonly found on the trunk or head and neck region. The eruption usually occurs suddenly and fully develops over days to weeks. And after several months to a year or more, it may undergo spontaneous resolution and heal with some post-inflammatory hypo or hyperpigmentation, particularly in skin or color. What are the histological findings associated with lichen striatus? We see a classic lichenoid reaction pattern on histology associated with spongiosis, as well as ecrine and peri periadnexal involvement. There is often exocytosis, parakeratosis, dyskeratosis, and focal or diffuse vacuolar degeneration observed in the epidermis overlying the lichenoid infiltrate. Even though the lichenoid inflammation present around the hair follicles may not differ significantly as in lichen planopilaris histology, the involvement of sweat glands and hair follicles can still be a helpful diagnostic feature of lichen striatus. What are the management options? In most cases, active treatment is not required and observation is usually suffice. If there is significant symptoms bothering the patient, then treatment options may include topical corticosteroids and topical carcinurin inhibitors. For significant nail involvement by lichen striatus, treatment options include potent topical corticosteroid creams under occlusion or carcinurin inhibitors. Complications associated with lichen striatus includes post-inflammatory hyper or hypopigmentation, which may take many months or years to resolve. In terms of the differential diagnoses of lichen striatus, this includes bashkitis, lichen nititis, lichen planus, lichen simplex chronicus, linear porokeratosis, linear psoriasis, plain verruca, epidermal nevus, and other conditions. Thank you for listening to this talk. We'll see you at the next presentation.